And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at 25 Outlaws, Old West Poker with Outlaw Rules. Uh, this is a two to five player game. It says age is 17 and higher on here, which I'm assuming is because there's poker in the game. I don't know. Uh, it's from the folks who brought uh, you Chicka Pig, and the artwork is by Dave Matthews. They make a bigger uh, point about the artist than they do about the uh, design of the game. This is a poker game, but you can also fight each other, so kind of have a, a, a drawing, a duel thing. Uh, but the poker cards are only the highest cards in the deck, and it's a three card poker hand. Here's how it plays. At the beginning of the game, each player is going to pick one of the gangs. Crazy Ed Sharpshooters, Crazy Cow Rangers, Walker's Creek Gang, Grizzly Out Outlaws, or Rockbridge Bandits. There are five different people in the gang that are numbered two through six. You're going to shuffle these cards. You're going to pick three of them and put them face down in front of you. The other two are removed from the game. So you can see what numbers you have. So here I have a two, six, and a five. Grumpy D, Fancy Yancy and Slick Willy, and you're going to put these down in front of you. Each person in your gang is going to get $100 worth of chips put on them, and the person to the farthest most left is going to get the poker hand marker. So you're going to be playing poker with this person, then the next round with this person, then the next round with this person. You must have $100 to play poker, so at the beginning of a round before the poker happens, you can redistribute money all you want and give as much money as you want to somebody. You're going to be using a deck of cards for a round of poker, and this deck of cards is going to have uh, tens, jacks, queens, kings, and aces, which are high in this game, of the four suits. So it's a very small deck, and in fact, we're only playing three card poker, which is simply where you'll be drawing two uh, cards, there's a card in the middle, that's the flop, and you'll be putting these together, betting and checking, basically playing normal poker using this poker hand ranking, high card pair, straight flush, three of a kind, and a straight flush to determine who wins the round. And you raise and bet, and eventually someone wins the pot. Now, after that happens, whoever is the dealer can attack someone else, try to rob another player. They'll pick one of their outlaws, any of their outlaws, to fight another outlaw. They don't have to do this, but they can. So you turn these, uh, the person who they attack could be a yellow bellow coward and give you half their money. Otherwise, you both reveal your cards, you both roll a die and add those to your cards. The higher person wins, kills the other person, and gets all their money. The attacker then, if they're still alive, is going to get a wanted card. So they'll put a wanted card on them. And this wanted card, what this means is anytime you're playing poker and the flop card matches this wanted card here, then the sheriff will attack them. You'll draw a random sheriff card and you'll that's their speed, that's their number, and you'll play it against your number rolling a die and see if they take you out or not. Um, players can also, in between rounds, pay $30 to draw a reward card. Some reward cards do things like add an extra... Uh, point to your speed, or you can steal 30 from somebody else. Um, here's a shotgun that adds 2 to your speed. You can put on someone else to give them minus 2 to their speed. This gives you 100 from the bank. Uh, here you can flip over any outlaw to see what their speed is. So that's kind of what these cards are. If you run out of $100 between all three of your outlaws, so you cannot play poker, you're eliminated from the game. Also, if all three of your outlaws are killed, you're eliminated from the game. And we'll just keep going around until there's only one person left. They have to have at least one outlaw and $100 worth of chips. That person is the winner of the game. Now, I know that artwork is subjective in games. And they on the box cover, they're really clear that the artwork here is from Dave Matthews. Uh, so, you know, far be it from me to say whether artwork is good or bad. Nah, never mind. I'll say it. I really don't like this artwork. I, I think this is a very stylized type of thing. It's, I don't know. It feels like these people are super ugly. But some people will like this. Now, the cards themselves all have sharp corners, too. 
not a huge deal, but I don't know. I just wasn't that impressed by them. The, the poker chips are fine. The cards are okay. You know, it's a deck of cards, but this style doesn't seem to match the Outlaws. And then this seems very macabre, these one it cards, which is fine, but it doesn't seem like it matches the the flow and motif of the game. And then these cards, the artwork is fine, the, the reward cards. Eh, it's okay. I mean, at least they give these cards that tell you the poker hand rankings and then the order of play on the other side. So that's fine. Um, the artwork, I mean, the artwork's the main detractor for me personally, uh, but at the same time, some people will like it, I guess. Again, though, like here's the sheriff and you see silhouettes. It just, it seems like everything is, is very disjointed, the whole graphic design of this game. All right, before I wail on this game, and from the overview, you can probably tell that it's not going to be a game that I think is even remotely good. There are some interesting ideas here. I find it interesting that there are three different people, each playing a poker hand, right? So you're not playing poker. It's the three characters in front of you. And the idea of being able to manipulate the money back and forth between them, having them attack each other, that's a pretty neat idea. But it's so horribly executed. All right, forget the components, that I don't like the art and all that stuff. Forget that. Let's say it was beautiful. I would still really dislike this game. There's just so many bad things about it. First of all, the three-hand poker sounds okay, but if you take out, I mean, because it's like, woo, you got the king, the ace, and the, you know, the jack, and it seems good, right, because you're taking out the worst cards of the deck. All the cards are high, but when all the cards are high, all the cards are low. And the rules that they have in here explaining poker are okay at best. I play with people who haven't played poker before, and we kind of were like, I think this is how you do it. They have a you know, rule sheet on how to play poker, but those rules kind of assume you know how to play poker. Um, so, uh, three, hand po three card poker, where you draw two, and put one out, and draw nothing, and switch nothing, not really that interesting. So the poker is meh at best. Then I said you can switch the money between the people. That doesn't, it just doesn't matter. Beforehand, you can put all your money on the person that's uh, you know going into the, the bet, but you don't want to put all your money on one person because then someone else will attack them, maybe, possibly, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. Then there's the, that's the bleh about the game. The ugly about the game is the attacking itself. First of all, the fact that you start with three random people, who thought that was a good idea? If I get the two, three, four, and you get the four, five, six, I feel like you have an advantage. Not, and it's not even, uh, why? Why do you just start out better than me? And the cards are faced out, but who cares? At the end of the day, the six will probably beat the two, but if it's a four versus a three, who cares? And those reward cards, why would I spend $30 to get a random reward card that might give me 100, but will likely give me a plus one of my speed? <laughs> I mean, that's just, those reward cards are really, really not worth it. Um, so you're giving up money, you play a boring hand of poker, you play an extremely boring combat, and then there's player elimination, which could just happen to you, right? Someone attacks you, someone else attacks you, someone else attacks you, or you attack someone else, you're out of the game. We, at least the game's short, I guess there's that. But the poker part's boring, the fighting part's worse, the production value is not that fantastic. This is just, I don't know, if you like poker, I'm not going to recommend the game. If you like the old western feel, I'm not going to recommend the game either. So, I guess I'm not recommending it for anybody. Dice Tower Judgment, pretty terrible.